with pitch clocks and replays. Baseball is being played differently than it ever has been before. Cronkite News reporter Matt Lively set out to see the game in its original form. If you're not 158 years old, well, you've probably never seen baseball like this before. Go, 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 go. These guys play America's pastime as it was played in the 1860s. You got the high socks, yeah, the blouse pants. And you're talking to old timers about an old timers yeah. game, so we had to come see. And what they saw is a little bit different than what the modern baseball fan is used to. This is an out, that pitch isn't a ball, and the bell is the only way to score a run. Played in a way that nobody's really ever played in a hundred years. Jacob Pomeranke and his fellow players belong to the Arizona Territory's Vintage Baseball League. Made up of eight teams throughout the state, they've been stuck in the 1860s for nearly a decade. Here, there are no called balls and strikes. Pitches must be thrown underhand, and balls caught on one bounce are outs. These guys play with a regular bat and a little bit of a different ball, but the biggest change? No gloves. Takes a little bit of getting used to, and of course, uh, line drives can break some fingers, and uh, you know, you, you gotta uh, judge for yourself whether you're going to try to catch a hard hit ball. Whether it's a game for hitters and pitchers, or strikers and hurlers, this league is for lovers of baseball. Uh, it's, it's fun to get out there, uh, wear some cool uniforms, and play by a rule set that, again, nobody's seen uh, for over a century. In Phoenix, Matt Lively, Cronkite News. The league runs from November to April, and the last game will be played at Warren Ballpark in Bisbee, which was built in 1909.